Welcome back to The Hill Update. I'm Dean Allison, your host. Joining me on the show today is Jocelyn williams Bamford, who is the founder of the Coalition of Concerned Manufacturers and Businesses of Ontario, which was formed in September of 2016 in response to unfavorable legislation impacting businesses in Ontario. Jocelyn is also the Vice President of Automatic Coding Limited, located in Scarborough, Ontario, and a new location in the U.S., Automatic Coding Limited. It is recognized as the worldwide as having one of the most technologically advanced powder and liquid coating facilities in North America, specializing in the application of high-performance liquids and powder coating. Jocelyn previously held positions of Director of Sales with AT&T Canada and Sales Management at Bell Canada. In addition to sitting on the Board of Directors for the Scarborough Hospital Foundation, Jocelyn is also the former co-chair for the Scarborough Hospital Foundation's Woman of Philanthropy Council. Jocelyn, thanks for joining us on the show today. Uh, my pleasure, Dean. Great to be with you. I'll, I'll just uh, say that I'm former uh, uh, on the board of the directors of the Scarborough Foundation. I'm now uh, taking a two-year assignment in the United States, and uh, as we set up a plan here. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hear more about that. So I think before we get started, I just want to show you a clip from the House of Commons from this week. So let's roll this clip, and then we'll talk about it. We have we after eight years, we've entered the next phase of this prime minister's economic. Misery. We've seen just inflation, and today we learn Canada's in a state of stagflation. As our economy shrunk by 1.1% in the most recent quarter, while the American economy boomed at 5%. Wow. Mr. Speaker, this is the result of high taxes, big deficits, and crippling red tape. This at the same time as the prices rise for Canadians, their wages are falling down. The economy is now smaller than it was on a per capita basis five years ago. Why is it that the American economy is roaring while this Prime Minister's economy is snoring? Uh, the Honourable President of the Treasury Board. Mr. Speaker, despite the trite rhymes coming from the other side of the House, I'd like to remind everybody in this House that we actually have an economic plan, unlike the opposition. Our GDP today, Mr. Speaker, is at 4.1 percent above pre-pandemic levels. That is higher than Italy, the European Union, France and Germany, Mr. Speaker, and the IMF projects that Canada will have the highest economic growth in the G7 in 2024. Mr. Speaker, that's an economic plan at work. All right, so the leader of the opposition, Jocelyn, talks about our economy that's shrinking with recent numbers indicating that our Canadian's economy has shrunk by 1.1% in the most recent quarter, while the American economy has grown by over 5%. All right, you're down there, and maybe you could talk a little bit about uh, your journey in setting up a plant down in the U.S., and is, is he, what he's saying the truth? I mean, we have conflicting reports from the Minister of the, tre of the Treasury Board. Yeah, the, the federal government seems uh, very good at uh, twisting selected numbers and, and telling you um, don't believe what you see or your lying eyes are not telling you the truth. But you can't add carbon tax, clean fuel standards, a whole raft of regulations and tell everybody that uh, everything's rosy and great uh, because it's not. They've added additional costs. And when you add carbon tax and clean fuel standards and new regulations of the, what we're seeing um, from the EPS, which is um, the new um, greenhouse gas standards that you're going to have to report on. It really punishes manufacturers. All the while, they have no problem bringing in product from overseas that don't have the cost, the taxes, and the environmental protections that we have here. So really, when you think about it, what they're doing is they're ta taxing us and, and costing us out of the marketplace all the while while allowing other jurisdictions that have less environmental standards to grow. So they're taking a Canadian jobs and they are, are basically allowing product to come in offshore um, without the environmental protections. We have a dirtier planet and we're out of Canadian jobs. Does not sound like a recipe for success to me. Okay, so Pierre talks about high taxes, but he also talks about the red tape. And I think you're sort of alluding to that, which makes everything more expensive. So what's your experience been now working in the US with the government there? versus what the Treasury Board Minister had to say in terms of the economy. You know, she's talking about how great things are. Once again, we got only about 30 seconds and we can come back after break and talk more about it. But what, what's your experience down in the South? 
So my experience is here. I, I know um, Ontario and the federal government says we reduce the red tape, but like just show it to me because we're just seeing more and more reporting that we have to do, uh, reporting that costs us money and that we don't have the staff for. And, and they tie up expansion. You talk to any Canadian company that tried to expand in Canada and then expand in the States, and it is a world of difference. I told that thought. We'll come back after break.